uh, Ronnie Dyer as our new manager. Uh, we've had a very thorough uh, search process, interview process. We've seen a lot of outstanding candidates, but Ronnie um, was the most outstanding. Uh, we're delighted to have uh, attracted him here to Celtic. We see he was a young, progressive coach, um, uh, a, a developer of players, making players better, and fits perfectly well with what Celtic's about today. So we're delighted to, to have him. Uh, he'll start uh, uh, almost immediately, and uh, we'll take any questions after. Ronnie, Thank many, you very much. Many congratulations, Ronnie. How do you feel? I'm very proud today. It's been a fantastic day, and uh, I felt this was the right move for me now. After being in uh, nine fantastic uh, years in Stremsutsu, I felt that was the, the time, and when this opportunity came, uh, I'm, uh, I'm very excited. Easy decision? Very easy decision. What do you feel you can bring to Celtic? Um, my philosophy is, uh, first of all, that I want to play offensive football. I want to have uh, the game in, under control with the ball, and we want to have uh, possession and create chances. And especially at the home games, we're going to give the, the fans entertainment for football. And um, uh, Otherwise, it's uh, here, of course, to, to win trophies. That's what the club is for. And, um, and then to, need, to do that, we need to develop players and the staff, of course. Everybody, everybody in the staff and the, the team needs to progress. And uh, if we do that, we can, uh, we can achieve good things. This is your first experience of British football. How big a step up is this for you personally? Uh, it's a fantastic step. And I think it's the right step for me now. So um, I feel very comfort comfortable and uh, talk with the club a lot. And um, I feel uh, normally a bit warm. The, the fans is warm and uh, the staff there, everybody, Peter, fantastic. And um, and I feel uh, this is like a family. So a lot of the values that is in this club, I, uh, I can feel myself uh, home in. Peter, you've been linked with many candidates in the last couple of weeks. Why is Ronnie, Ro why is he the right man? Because there have been a lot of big names who yeah, are established yeah. with Celtic who've been linked with this post yeah, as well. Yeah. Well, he's the right man because he's, he's intelligent. Uh, as I said, he's progressive, he's modern, um, he's got a fantastic track record in terms of winning and developing a team and developing players. And he fits probably perfectly with where we are at the moment as a club. So we're all about, as you know, our strategy is to develop our own. It's also to find the, uh, uh, the undervalued players and the uncut diamonds as we've done here. Bring them here, train them, develop them, and put them in the first team and hopefully the Champions League. So his credentials are, are ideal for, for Celtic. Uh, number two being chosen yet? No, I think Ronnie's got three or four candidates, people he wants to see, so we'll get on to that probably starting next week. Tony, John Collins, a candidate? There's one of them. How much time are you going to have to put your own stamp on the team before the, the Champions League qualifiers? Well, I'm not sure how much uh, what's good is a lot of consistency in the in the squad, and uh, of course uh, Neil Lennon has done a fantastic job there. So I have to, of course, do a lot of the same things that he has and, and take the positive things uh, with the team. The def defense has been fantastic, and uh, it's about, of course, uh, over time creating my type of play in the offensive, uh, and uh, and of course do not so many big uh, different things in the beginning of course because they have to feel safe and but we have to progress over the time over time it's a very good squad uh, in the, the scottish league it's very very good and of course uh, we always want to be into the champions league so that's the standard we need uh, to create players and you have to get players in that uh, can go into the european uh, uh, standard and uh, and um, that takes time if you're going to develop but of course now also it's, it's a lot of players have done well uh, and play on the national teams and, uh, and uh, things so um, everything is there to to, uh, to have a good season and um, and uh, to have a good to get, get good results at once. Well, your first task here will be to try and get the club to the Champions League. Your first experience of that competition as well. What do you think of the task? Oh, it's tremendous. It's fantastic. I really enjoy European football. I've been nine years now in the Stern I played, uh, played there before. We were out in the European Cup now, not the Champions League. They go now. Maybe we draw them. So that could, <laughs> that, uh, could be. But um, um, you get a lot of energy to, to get out on the international uh, level. And um, 
I'm so looking forward to, to take my players and my staff and to, to really learn and uh, to uh, get good results. We're going to give you qualifying rounds to get through as well, to get the people watching rounds, to get to the Champions League. It's a, it's a difficult task, isn't it? Of course, it is. But <laughs> Celtic is a big club and they've done it before. Right. We, we, like that? In your own life, it's uh, always answered. You're going to flop, are you? <laughs> I'm Ronnie Dyla, so, uh, <laughs> but um, I, I like Jürgen Klopp, he's a modern leader, he's uh, very close to the players, I think that's important, you have to f get the players to feel safe, and you have to be very clear, and they also have to feel loved, and um, Jürgen Klopp is fantastic in doing that, and uh, of course um, he also is, uh, have a good play, offensive play, he want to create, and uh, that gives energy into the stadium and when you have a stadium like Celtic Park you need energy, it's a lot of energy outside the pitch on the, the stands, so on the pitch also they have to see a team who really wants to attack and who really wants to do, do positive things and and then we can be a very hard team to beat at all I don't know if you mentioned about uh, unearthing more talent it's, it's been reported that not only have you done that but you're actually a strong advocate of not spending and working within a tight budget, is that the case and why is it the case? Uh, it's important. Uh, as I said, you have two possibilities to get uh, knowledge and, uh, or skills into the team. You can buy them. But uh, with, uh, if you're talking about Champions League and the big clubs, unbelievable amounts of money. Or the other way, you have to develop them. And of course, Celtic is a big club, uh, but uh, yeah, we need to develop the players up to the European standard. And, um, and we... we I like to do that. I like to work with the players and get out of the potential. And uh, if you do that, you can get uh, players in, in the world class, of course, when you are a such huge club that uh, we are now. Ronnie, yeah. I am now. Ronnie, you, pl you played under, as a player, Roy Hodgson, uh, a Viking. I mean, did you speak to him about this move? Are you still in contact with him? And what did you learn from him when he was your manager? I haven't talked with him for... I was one time on a trip to Fulham to talk with him. So um, I haven't spoken in this since I think he has a lot to do now, so I don't think he wants to have the phone for me. Uh, but uh, I've learned a lot in the defense with uh, Roy Hodgson. I did talk totally different in the offensive play, but in the defense uh, it's a lot of things that was fantastic with the Roy Hodgson. Can I ask you only about the process as to when you first became aware of Celtic Simpsons? Uh, yeah, it hasn't uh, been so long time, but it's, uh, it's going very quick. So. Um, when I heard the name, I was, uh, of course, very interested at once because I, th this, uh, I felt this was in my stomach, I felt this was the right move for me. What is the remit that Peter Lowe has given you as manager? Obviously, there has been too much by way of a challenge domestically, anyway, in the territory. So, what challenges do you face as a manager? Uh, for me, it's uh, win trophies and it's come out to the Europe and it's develop players to get out of potential. In terms of uh, people that we respect in the game and their knowledge and their judgement and his name was mentioned months ago so we kind of kept track and then when uh, Neil mentioned it, uh, I think in an interview today that when Johan left we had a chat about Ronnie in terms of if he could play a role here and then when Neil decided to go and then the process started I think two weeks ago uh, Ronnie was at the top of the list to go and have a chat to. Uh, but, as I said, things have come to a head only in the last day. Um, you know, we were in Norway yesterday, and uh, last night was really late last night, and this morning was the first time we got to talk about his own terms and conditions. So, it's, just, it's as recent as that. Yes, Ronnie, is, I mean, again, he made the point, I think we've got to say that, that he is uh, following a very, very good Celtic manager, and a very, very successful Celtic manager. And you said he was at the top, it's just required to no job offers. We spoke to a lot um, at different stages. We've got to different levels, but um, no offer was made to anyone else. Yeah, we, we just go on. You know, I think to be fair to us, we've got a decent track record over the last few years. Uh, we we um, know what we're doing in a financial and in a football sense, and we, we continue to do what we've been doing over the last few years. And Roddy have been important part in that. He's got a big uh, support structure around. He's got John Park in, in, in head of recruitment. He's got Chris in terms of the academy. He's got Tim Williams in the medical. And we've got our performance analysis guys. So there is a, and Stevie Woods is the goalkeeper. So there's a good, stable, experienced uh, support structure around Ronnie that's been here.
We also want to go into the Europe stage, and uh, like they have been now the last two years, I think they have been a seven out of ten. It's fantastic. So of course, that's my dream to take Celtic out in Europe and uh, and be in Champions League. Your your predecessor. Your predecessor. Is there any truth in yeah, he's, he's been in training with us, and um, we uh, are, are just going through the discussions with his uh, agent at the moment to see if anything comes out of that. Suggesting he's a medical. I'm not so sure. I've been away the last couple of days, but that, that might be the case. I'm not so sure. But he, he came, he trained with us. He was excellent. Um, Stevie Woods couldn't have spoken highly enough about him, so we, we might be close in that way. Ronnie, do you know anything about Craig Gordon? Yes, I know he's a good goalkeeper, and been injured uh, for a while, and. Um, that he trains now with us, and uh, we have uh, we're gonna see now. I just need some days and to get into everything. I have worked. We don't have a vacation in Norway in uh, in June, so uh, so I just have to get sorted out everything around me. And uh, what do you know about the opposition, domestic opposition? Not too much. I know the you know the teams, of course, the names and everything, but uh, I don't know what what the teams are and uh, what they're doing. So I know Celtic is a very big club that um, the opponents have a big respect for them and uh, that we, we're going to have the ball a lot. So we need to need to really have a good offensive play to to, to break them down. And uh, and that's what I love. Are you, 